based on that play alone, I see why DeAndre Ayton nicknamed you two the twins. It seems like Cam Johnson and Mikhail Bridges are always on the same wavelength at all times. So it's fitting that both of you guys are here with us on NBA Today. Welcome. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Thank you for having us. I, I mean, we're going to get to the, the jerseys that you all are repping in just a second, but your entire squad has seemed to be on the same wavelength last night, getting some revenge from the finals on the champs. So how did that win in particular feel as you guys keep cruising in this stellar season? Um, it felt good. Um, obviously one that we wanted to get, one that we were looking forward to. Um, it is the regular season, so, you know, games come quick and they come often. But I was proud of our guys for locking in and getting that one done. Well, and I could see by Mikhail's face at the end that we saw there that you might be a little proud of getting that one done, Mikhail. But I just hit on it, starting with you, Mikhail. How does that nickname, the Twins, float your boat? Um, well, D.A., he made it up, and it's just, it's true. I mean, we do a lot of things. We've been shooting, working out together for since he's been here, um, and we just build a friendship off the court and everything, and, you know, we have a lot of things in common. You know, besides the jerseys we're wearing, but we do have yeah. a lot of things to come, except for these jerseys right here. <laughs> except for those jerseys right there. Cam, aside from maybe basketball, and I'm guessing perhaps playing video yeah. games maybe, what is the thing you two do the most together? Um, Outside of basketball, maybe video games? Yep. Probably eat. <laughs> that's, that's definitely go get grub right there. Yep, go get grub. There you go. All right, so we're going to get to the jerseys now. The Super Bowl, it's here in Los Angeles this weekend. Both of you guys are going. I can see you're clapping and excited. But I found this a little bit surprising. Cam, you're a Bengals fan despite growing up near Pittsburgh. And Mikhail, you're a Rams fan despite growing up near Philadelphia. So can you both explain your allegiances heading into this big game? Cam, starting with you. Go first. Go first. Yeah, I'll go first. Um, so I, growing up in Pittsburgh, I was a Steelers fan kind of for the first five, six years of my life. And then um, my dad, he grew up in South Carolina and he grew up a Cowboys fan. So he did not like the Steelers growing up. So around the age of like seven, he was just talking about, about the Steelers. He didn't really like them. And he kind of convinced myself and my three brothers to not like them either. At the time, the Bengals had Chad Johnson who had C. Dot Johnson on the back of his jersey, tiger stripes on the sleeve, the, the, the new jerseys they had at the time around like 04. There it is right there. Um, I had that jersey right there. It's my first jersey I ever got. And, you know, just being a C. Johnson myself, I loved it and became a Bengals fan, been one ever since. What about you, Mikel? Well, um, mine's a little bit simpler. Uh, I used to play with them in Madden when I was a kid. <laughs> And I was big Marshall Fall, Kurt Warner, Torrey Holt, all them guys, Isaac Bruce. And uh, ever since then, I've been I've been rocking with them. I used to, I don't like telling the story that much. So when I was a kid, I used to tell people I was just born in St. Louis, so it could just be over with. I'm like, oh, I was born in St. Louis. I'm like, okay. Yeah, and just no, that's fine. Be over with. I was there. I moved when I was three days old, but it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> people will believe you on that. Born all right. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. All right. I want to test your knowledge of both of these teams. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Come on. Okay, Mikhail. Starting with wow. you, who was the last Rams quarterback to win a Super Bowl? <laughs> Lay up. Kurt. Lay up. Ding, 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 ding. Kurt. 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 Kurt Warner. Ding, ding, ding. All right, Cam, no cheating. No cheating here. Tell us without cheating, who is the Bengals' all-time leading receiver? Is it, is it not? It gotta be. It gotta be. You gotta be Chad Johnson, right? Yep. Chad Ochocinco is absolutely. Your, yep. I wasn't absolutely. sure if AJ Green snuck in there. I was I like, just made these questions are harder for you guys. I was like, oh, I'll you go really easy should've. on them. I'll be nice. All right, Mikhail, back to you. How many I Super know. Bowls have the Rams played in? They played in? Mm hmm. All right. So we won 2001. We lost. But my boy, Golf. It's two. If, I, if I'm missing, you are. <laughs> so three? Uh, Four? Are you sure? One with the Titans. Remember the one with the Titans? Well, we won that one. Oh, that's the one you're counting? Yeah. What's your final answer? Four. Uh -huh. Oh, he got it. I thought he was going to go with three. I thought he was going to say three. Oh. Four is absolutely correct. There you go. All right, Cam. <laughs> last one. Yeah. Same question to you. But how many Super Bowls have the Bengals played in? Um... We lost to the 49ers in what, 88 maybe? Okay. <laughs> yep, that's right. And I think that might be the only one. Oh, Are there you sure? there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Two. 
All right. Final answer. Man, you guys are good. I should I should have made these harder, and I also shouldn't have been said the art. You, sure? like, you're making me go back to before I'm even born here. <laughs> yeah, well, people that's do that. Tough. If folks do that to me with basketball, I get to do it to you guys in football. That's that's the that's way this tough. works. All We're right. Going back to the eight, you guys. Got it. <laughs> see? Well, I, I wasn't born either. Come on now. All right. You're clearly both <laughs> as competitive as it gets. So I assume there has to be some sort of Super Bowl bet going on. So what is it? And if not, can we come to some terms right now? We're going to start with the, the the loser has to wear the other team's jersey. Okay. But from there, we're not really – I mean, there, trust me, there's enough emotion on the line oh. and there's enough just riding on the game that it, we don't really need to have any crazy bet to be in, invested. So uh, we're open to ideas if you have any. Yeah, yeah we're ready. The, the jersey is a good one. I'm thinking it can't just be for, like, one game intro, though. It has to be, like, in the playoffs, like, game one of the finals if you guys go back. That You know what I mean? Like, it has to be something where there's something oh, on wow. the line, right? Okay, so, like, the following game and then the game one of every playoff series from there. I like it. Oh. I like it. I, that's it, right? That's got to be it. Come on, shake can on we, it. Can we, can, we, can, we, can we think of one more thing as well? Yeah, we can. Add I got some... That oh, I know Cam will love. All right. Maybe uh, maybe loser got to uh, make a little lemonade stand or something in, uh, in the offseason. So. <laughs> in the, other, lemonade, teams, my in boy. the other team city. Why in the other it? team I'm, city. Because, yeah, yeah, that's how confident I am. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, you said I'm going to be selling lemonade. lemonade. Yes, you are. Bro, enjoy that lemonade. <laughs> Fresh squeeze. Oh, my goodness. I got a lemon tree in the backyard. You need to get some of those. I, I love it. Too. Okay. I you love it. Little... Done. All nah. right. We got lemonades. We got game one jerseys and the game after the Super Bowl. Or shake on it. <laughs> shake on it. I got to see it. All right. It's a That's bet. the bet, gentlemen. It's a bet. Thank you so much for joining us here on NBA Today. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.